I, in the I, building. I, I the street the executives. George Musselbach. DJ, DJ, DJ. Technique. What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Brent Young, and you are tuning in to the most award-winning talk show in Memphis and Mobile, Alabama. Of course, the trophies are behind me. They are always in the cut. I'm talking about Brink TV. Now, joining me on tonight's episode, I'm talking about this true Memphis pioneer. I'm talking about this sexy young lady to my right. Miss Katie B, what's happening with you? How you doing, hon? Hey, I'm doing wonderful. First and foremost, I gotta say thanks for coming on the show. It means a lot Thank to have you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. Hey, I'm honored to have a legend because, like I say, you've been in this game for quite some time. You've been putting it down as far as promoting your promoter. You've been killing the game. Well, I appreciate that. You making it happen. I'm loving it. I appreciate that. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about because you are from Memphis, correct? Mm -hmm. What part of town are you from? I'm from Nutbush. Nutbush. Okay. <laughs> hey, what's up? Okay. I'm digging it. I'm digging it all right so let's talk about growing up in memphis you Man, know uh, what was up it like memphis is rough you know okay. it's rough it's a struggle out here you either hustle or you know don't make it yeah that's true and hey i've seen a lot of people do both i've seen a lot of people hustling i've seen a lot of people that came up short but we here we're here and we're, we're here. still alive and we got another day to make a difference we're talking about 2019 you got so many projects in the works so we many really do. so many events coming up i mean we got events coming up this week this week and like almost every week yeah. from here on out it's it's crazy it's it's like you work so hard and don't realize you know what you're building until it's like whoa yeah here it is it's yeah it'll like pop yeah and then even then like sometimes you look at things in retrospect and be like damn i did all that right i have my hand in all that i'm responsible for all that right it's dope it's a good feeling yeah and and, and i actually have to make a adjustment i said that you were a promoter you're actually a manager as well you manage artists as well right i am i am i'm really getting into that now i just had to you know build a platform okay. for taking off you know you don't okay. want to run out there and like crash and burn yeah i so understand you to do your homework and make sure that you step out correctly i understand I mean? so yes i am so um, we got we got several i mean several ways we could start this and be several you know different lanes because you got I know. Your, you got your hands and you stirring up so many pots <laughs> right now so girl you pots, cooking I, know. I mean you're cooking I'm right cooking now the crock pot most definitely all right so let's go ahead and get into like i say you being from Memphis, from Nutbush, like growing up, what would you say is your soundtrack? You know, who are you Man, listening my to? My soundtrack is really the old school Memphis. Yeah. You know, like yeah. LeChat, Gangsta Boo, Skinny, yeah. DJ Squeaky, yeah. Gangsta Pat, like a yeah. lot of, you know, a lot of the old rappers. Yeah. And, um, man, I think a lot of people have that same soundtrack. Yeah. Uh, They're rad music. That ride music yeah. and just good vibe music, like yeah. you know, um, yes, a little bit of the music was dark back then. Yeah. We all know that. Yeah. Um, but people like really spit their feelings. They like put their feelings into the microphone yeah. and told a story. Yeah, it wasn't just you know the same repetitive things right, in right. the artist. Yeah. And you know, I just I guess one of the main reasons is I started Underground Rising's 901 is because. I wanted to um, bring back like real lyrics. Okay. And you know, Memphis music. Yeah. Like, welcome to Memphis yeah. type situation. All these other states, they like honor their legends. And it's like, well, why can't we honor our legends in Memphis too? Yes, granted, there is a lot of drama that comes with territory and everything. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's time to like just put all that drama to the side. And it's like, right. man. Y'all Memphis legends really stamped the music game in the hip hop industry. Right, like right. and so right now is a perfect time to like jump jump on and explain who Memphis is and like get this thing popping. Yeah. I don't want to just go into it too much cuz I don't want to tell my secrets. I feel you. I feel um, you. Um but I'll say towards the end of this year 
2020 it's yeah. gonna pop okay. and it's gonna be beautiful and i also understand that this project is gonna have a host of all kind of unseen footage i mean you digging unseen all the way footage. in the crates yeah, you in the vault with this one yes i i uh, really soul searched with this one and Actually, it's turned more into like the legacy of Memphis music okay. from back when, you know, there was two radio stations right. here and the blues, rock and roll. I yeah. mean, it has turned into a really big project, yeah. but um, my part is the hip hop part, of yeah. course, you know, so. All right, so in a few words, like how, how could you describe the evolution of Memphis hip hop from all the way back then to now? Because like I said, I grew up. Tom right third, yeah, you know what I'm Tom, saying? See, I, there's Tom so many Ski, that I, yeah, you know. There's so many that I left out, yeah, and then yeah. please don't like hold it against me. Oh, I love you guys good. too. Yeah, Tom Ski's a good dude too. Yeah. Um, the the evolution of the change in hip hop is like it's repetitive now. Okay. It's like I feel like it's the same sound, the repetitive sound, and it's not like it's not really digging as deep as you can, right, As far right. as your talent and. Yeah. I just I want to see more like flows and creative yeah. lyrics and um, real life actually like yeah. real life lyrics right right like what hurts you yeah. I mean maybe I should start rapping I <laughs> <laughs> you know I could kind of see it I could kind of see Miss Katie baby I can see that you know what I can see That's, that uh, Carrie Hilson yeah. is actually the reason why yeah. I did my um, Instagram name like that I'm yeah like, like Miss Katie baby yeah no. I'm feeling it I'm feeling it <laughs> alright so with you being a, a manager of artists like are you looking for artists now to manage or? I am and actually I just met two out there in okay. your lobby That's um, what's up. <laughs> Hey, bring to you yes. making connections. This is what making we do. Making connections. I yeah. just met too, and I'm I'm fixing to get with them as soon as this interview's over with. Most um, though. Sexy Killer. She's uh she's gonna make a welcoming entrance. I, I, I you guess know, I, I recently just saw she did a photo shoot and she sexy. Looks so good. I mean, my yes. goodness. She Woo. did that. I was like, yeah. there she is. Hold yeah. on. She just woke up. Yeah, I love it. I'm definitely loving it. Yes. Yeah. Shout out Killer. Okay, it's so it's going down. Let's go. So as far as artists like, what exactly are you looking for? Passion. I want to see passion in your music, not just because you want to be an artist. Like, um, dig deep in your soul. Like, find some pain. What makes you happy? Like, make make happy songs. Make painful songs. Like, switch it up. Like, tell a story. Like, that's what I want to see. Whether it's like rock and roll, whether yeah. it's hip hop, whether it's R and B. You know, I love that, and that's one thing that we gotta have more relatable music because I feel like music is something that feeds the soul. You know, it's yes. something that, that that eases your mood. It's you know, mood music. So if everything is the same, cookie cut, carbon copy, right. you know, what it's, are we doing? Uh, it's yeah. it's lost, and like that's really what I want to get back to is like actual talent and okay. creativity, even in music videos. Like yeah. you remember, but. That's why I wear my MTV shirt yeah, too. Like yeah, when I was a kid, I didn't even watch cartoons. I watched music videos. Yeah. And so like the music videos back in the day, yeah. they were creative. They like, had a treatment. <laughs> right. They wrote out treatments treatment. and stuff like that. And yeah. actually, like one of the legends I work with, he has a treatment wrote out and it's gonna be dope. I can't say nothing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But it's gonna be very, very nice. Um but yeah, I just I just want creativity. That's it. Okay. So if any artist and appeal, like oh, appeal, of course. like of course. I mean, I'm not. You can be ugly, but you yeah. can have appeal. I'm right. just saying, right. like and like no violence. Yeah. We need to not promote so much violence, even though you know it is what it is. Yeah. Everything's corrupt. Right. We all get that. I feel you. But feel you. you know, in order to make a difference, you know, you can speak pain without. Violence. Right. You can speak pain without promoting it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So if it was any artist out there that was watching this and they wanted to get in contact with you about management, like what's the best way they can do that? Um, email, send me an email at undergroundrisings901 at gmail.com. And uh, like my social medias are Miss Katie Baby901 on IG, uh, Katie Smith on Facebook, 
but I don't really just uh, answer my Facebook. I got you. I get too many DMs. Like, oh Lord. <laughs> they stay jumping in Miss Katie Woo! Baby's DM because she is definitely hot. Trust me. Well, thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. So let's go ahead and talk about this Friday night. We're talking about February 22nd at the Cadre Building. What's going on? Oh, my goodness. Yes. Um, so it's uh, Length of King's birthday bash. Okay. And um, it's also Floyd Mayweather's birthday Wait bash. Wait a minute. You talking about money, yes. Mayweather? I'm talking about money, Mayweather. Mr. 50 and oh, the wait money a minute. Team. Wait a minute. Yes. Okay, okay. So they gonna be in Memphis? In Memphis at the Cadre Building. Wow. So let's talk about like ticket pricing and all that, because I understand that they actually got an exclusive meet and greet that you can actually meet money when well you can get a picture with them and yes, all of that. You can. That's um, like a lifetime opportunity. Wait a minute. Talk to me. What's right. up? It's a hundred dollar ticket. Okay. okay. And I mean, uh, you get to meet Floyd Mayweather yeah. and actually party in the little area, you know, that okay. he's going to be in. I mean, who don't want to party with Floyd Mayweather? Man, that's like ultra VIP. And right I mean, there. the general admission tickets are only $30. Okay. Um, I mean, the VIP that's not the meet and greet and all that's like 60 Okay. It's not expensive at all. Okay. So as far as advanced tickets, like what's the best way people can get those? Uh, Eventbrite or go to Langston Hampton Jr.'s uh, Facebook page and he's got the links on there. Hey, Lang, shout out, Lang. <laughs> yeah, and that's what's up. So, hey, when you go and you see Miss Katie in the building, like, don't act like no stranger. Come say what's up with her, you know? Yeah, come say hi. Yeah. I'll be up and be happy. Most definitely, most <laughs> definitely. Now, you got any shout outs, anything you want to get out right quick? Um, I just want to shout out Memphis. Like, let's come together and get this thing popping. We got yeah. to represent our city. And we're talking about 2020, you know, be on the lookout for the project. We're talking about Underground Risings. It's coming very soon. I love this last question. I, I had to have this last question in there. Let's say as an inspiring promoter or manager, and they're thinking about giving up, what advice would you have for them? Don't give up. If you feel strongly in your soul about something, do not give up. It's going to be hard. You're going to run into roadblocks. People are going to talk about you. Let it go. I'm going to say Mac past that. Yeah. And if you want to be an OG in the game like Miss Katie B, I'm saying, don't give up. I mean, because hey, she's definitely stamped and approved out here. Like I say, she's been putting it down for a very long time. Established and very credible. You actually working with Sony now, right? Yes, I'm working with Sony. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, she's so humble and modest. I love it. I love it. I don't, I mean, I try to just stay that way. Yeah. I don't want it to get to my head, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, people come to me all the time like, oh, my God, what are you doing? Like, right. What you got going on? Yeah. Like, you making some noise? I'm yeah, like, look, yeah. I don't even see it sometimes, though. Right. Yeah. I don't. I don't see the noise I'm making until I step back and it's like, what? Okay. Yeah. And it's like I got certain people reaching out and it's like, how in the world yeah. are you reaching out to me right now? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be good. Wow. So we talking about 2019 is going to be a crazy year for her. Be on the lookout for a lot of consistency from this young lady right here because she's definitely working. She's making moves. But, hey, with that being said, I got to say thank you again for coming on the show. Thank you. And also, um, let me throw let me throw this in there real quick because I'll be mad. I'm going to leave and call you. Be like, I forgot to say this. Okay. But um, just to give you a little taste of memphis go on itunes and download eric gale's the bookends okay and also the eight ball mjg classic pimping because they did like a live thing right with right. the fans and all yeah. that stuff and it's it's like that era is important too because you know the transition into hip-hop was like soul music and yeah. blues and stuff like that so yeah. it's like that blended together back in the day as well yeah. so with that being said that go download those two things and that'll give you an idea of what um is going on we talking about the golden era <laughs> hey y'all go era. back do your homework research and matter of fact you will definitely be educated when you watch this project when she like i say when she premiered hey you guys would be amazed Most definitely Trust i'm gonna i'm gonna start sending out teasers soon so. okay okay and I mean, she got footage like from all the way back from club, no name, all kind of right. stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I right, well, hey, I I, I love it. Peace, budge hit him. Most definitely, most definitely. I love it. I love everything you got going on. Like I say, you're beautiful. You're a talented young thank lady. You. Hey, have a you wonderful. Too. Well, thank you. You know, I try. I'm a fan I try. For the Brink show too. Most I, definitely. I love what you do. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So I wish you a wonderful 2019 and beyond. With that being said, thank you again for coming on the show. Thank you. Now back to more Brink TV.